everybody loves a derby day. No matter where you are, the same feelings unite fan bases and people together. From the pre-match nerves you get on the day to the pure passion that come kickoff. And the We Love Sport app brings fans of teams and sport together, highlighting the best places to watch your team battle it out against your fierce rivals, as well as a haven of sporting action. Download the We Love Sport app with the link in the podcast description, or simply search We Love Sport on your preferred app store and get in on the action now. And by the way, this is the North London Derby, and this is Derby Days. So chaps, welcome to the We Love Sport podcast. John it's lovely to see you again, mate. Yes, you too. <laughs> no, no, what? No, um, no questions about who you're representing today. No, no, and uh, no questions about how much money I've got. I can't afford mm. anything newer than the 1982 <laughs> home shirt. Yeah. yeah, you should take that one on Antiques Roadshow. <laughs> <laughs> um, Matt, obviously, you're here yes. to represent Arsenal. Obviously, yeah, the best team in North London. So yeah. Oh, how do you absolutely. how do you guys feel sitting in such close proximity? It's been quite a convivial atmosphere so far in in the studio, mm. but I'm I'm not sure that's going to last. I mean, I think we need to bring back the two meter social distancing I think just for this to, yeah. occasion. Just for yourself, yeah. Matt, what are your kind of earliest memories of the North London derby? Um, well, for me, it's got to be the 2004. Uh, season where we won the league at One Hart Lane, I think that was that's comes to my my mind. I think uh, in general that's just a, a great season because we were undefeated as well. Were you? Um, um, yeah. It's not, it's not come up. <laughs> no. Um, so yeah, I think that that was that's the one that comes to mind. Do you know what's what's funny is that's almost twenty years ago. It's crazy. Yeah, it's a long yeah. time. It's a long time. Yeah, yeah. It's all right because we're about to go back further in time for my first <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mine has to be uh, the 1991 uh, FA Cup semi final. Yep. Gazza's free kick. Beating Team for that. Right. Top corner. You must mm. have seen it in the, those old black and white reels. <laughs> know, that, that, Hello, today that, on the FA Cup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's my earliest memory beating, beating Arsenal. In the semi-final, I think that was at Wembley. Actually, I started playing the semi-finals at Wembley. Then, yeah. Day. So Gaza had had a hernia operation, like about a month before. I think came back. Nobody really knew kind of what to expect from him in that yeah. game. He was obviously a bit of a mercurial talent, anyway. And it's one of the famous FA Cup goals. Yeah. As a Tottenham fan, and obviously I've got no vested interest no, of here. Of course not. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, but we went through. We sorry, Spurs <laughs> went through something of a fallow period after that. Obviously, you got yeah. the kind of. Klinsman, Sheringham years after that, but then kind of mid nineties to I'd say mid noughties. Is some is it a dip if it lasts a decade? I mean, and, and actually, the only bit of success we had was ni- nineteen ninety nine. Remember League it well? Cup, George Graham was in that charge. The, was that the last trophy? Was it? No, two thousand and eight. Oh, Incorrect. So two thousand eight. It's been so long. You know. <laughs> but yeah, but with a, a former Arsenal manager in charge. Yep. Um, so that was kind of like. Uh, a bit of sweet victory, that one in 99. So I, I was at the 1999 Worthington Cup final as a neutral, obviously. And <laughs> when Spurs won, uh, David Ginola took off his shirt and kind of waved to the West End or wherever we were sat at Wembley. Now, I'm sure every woman in the crowd thought this, but my mum is convinced to this day that he was waving at her. Yeah. And I still remember her being like, he's looking at me, he's waving at me, he's waving at me. Like, Mummy's like, she was like, he's waving at me. It's like, okay, I'm not going to take that yeah, away. Don't, don't argue with your mum. But I, I met David Ginler at an event and I told him this. He's like, get out your camera phone. <laughs> so, I like, yeah, okay. so I got it out and he's like, right, okay, film this. And I was like, oh, okay, hi, mum, I'm here with David Ginler and he's got something to tell you. And he's like, what's your mum's name? It's like, Laura. He's like, Laura, you were right. All those years ago, I was waving at you. It's always been you, Laura. <laughs> and oh, she wow. said it to all her friends as proof. There we are. You're cementing your place Such in a that great world. Yeah, you're going to get that inheritance. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, what's the what's the equivalent for Arsenal? I mean, kind of Gilberto waving at the crowd. And... <laughs> <laughs> Not quite the same effect, is it? No, you've got to have Thierry Henry, isn't it? The oh, French yeah. flair. Oh, of course. Yeah. Va 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 You know, and I he mean... was at his peak at that time, so no, he was untouchable, I well, think. Let's talk about Arsenal now. I'm not going. Oh yes, please. Do, do. we have to? Well, I, I've got to say, I'm not going to go too heavy on the Arsenal criticism because in the last few weeks that has come back to bite me a little bit, yes. and I've been reminded yeah. of a few things I've said. Yeah. Particularly the game against Palace, where I was—I mean, I was just bereft. Yes. Afterwards, yeah, yeah. that afternoon, this before kickoff, I was talking about. I was like, okay, so win the first four, then obviously kind of look to get a point against yeah, Chelsea, we, we beat Arsenal. Too far ahead. I, and I was, I was thinking yeah. it's going to be another little one-nil. 
That seems to be the favourite scoreline. I think season. that's the problem with Tottenham fans. They just get ahead of themselves. Yeah. You know, it's not the only you... problem, but it's one of them. <laughs> it's yeah. one of many, one of many. Thanks for that. But yeah. Is that not a thing with all football fans? Because the problem with football is it, it's the hope that kills you. Mm. And really, the way it's set up is only one team, by definition, can have a properly successful season. So everyone else is due to be disappointed. But we're all deluded because it's, it's our passion. Now, yeah. What are Arsenal fans even hoping for this season? Well, I can only speak for myself and I think we can aim for top four. <laughs> no, come on, it is a serious Sorry, podcast, so let's. <laughs> but uh, we no. said no comedian. <laughs> I mean, it's still early, isn't it? We're only four games in, three mm. games in, so you know you've got to take it game by game. But um, we had a lot of injuries at the start of the season, mm. and I believe there was a bit of a COVID outbreak in the team on the first game against Brentford. So you know we we've got to trust the manager and trust his beliefs. And his philosophy, but um, yeah, there's only so much you can take as an Arsenal fan, and uh, I think we just got to trust him from now. It's it's hard, don't get me wrong, but um, yeah, we have a young team as well. Yeah, um, and we we spent a lot in the transfer market. We spent the most, so yeah, there's a lot of pressure going into it now. But do you trust the manager? Because some people are calling for Arteta out, and I mean, it's a lot of those kind of shouty YouTube channels. I mean, but that is Arsenal. Yeah. Fans TV through and through. I've got right? a, I do feel sorry for Arsenal fans actually, because I've got to say, because Arsenal fan TV is not representative of Arsenal fans. Absolutely not. No. And I think a lot of Arsenal fans think it's a huge embarrassment. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I love watching it. It's yeah. So do I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when we lose. <laughs> yeah. No, but uh, it kind of like it brings all the Arsenal fans together. And uh, obviously, the, some of them are against Arsenal fan TV. Um, but I think even before they came into action, they were doing quite bad anyway. Mm. So you can't just blame that platform, really. But what about, so, I mean, I think Arsenal Spurs, in a weird way, are in a similar position in the sense that they're kind of hybrid squads. Mm. It's with new managers looking to do something new but with a few old players who, or players from previous regimes, who maybe the magic has gone for a little bit. At Spurs, I'm thinking, obviously, Harry Kane. Yeah, and obviously, yeah. Hugo Lloris is probably coming towards the end players like that. And then at Arsenal, you look at Obama Yang and you kind of think, okay, we want to bring this new team through, but we're in that transitional period. Do you think fans need to maybe be more patient with Arteta? No, because I think we've been in that period, even when in the Wenger days, mm. you know, um, it's been like 10, 15 years now. And Arsenal fans have been really patient, I feel. Um, and obviously as fans, you want everything now. Um, so I feel like we, we just have to keep going and, uh, develop these young players, they have a lot of um, value. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's going to be hard. It's a long, I'd say, maybe ride this season out and then see see how things go, and maybe see what we do in the next transfer window. And Johnny, what about Spurs? I mean, were you kind of, were you pumped when Tottenham got to their 19th manager who they begged to, to have the job or whatever it was? And yeah, Nuno's I manager. mean, I don't, I don't know how much of that is true how many people we went to because Nuno got touted around right at the beginning yeah. when Mourinho went. Um, I think I saw your name linked with the job at one yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, was... yeah. So <laughs> thankfully we didn't quite get down that low. I'd have loved that. How many, how many <laughs> managers just... did you go through that turned you down? Before? It was about seven or eight, wasn't it? It was, was it? something it was like that. Yeah. It was, well, it, it was it's not as embarrassing as being bottom of the league though, is it? After three games. Mm, let's, so. I mean, it's early let's, days. <laughs> let's get things into yeah. perspective here. But you know what? Nuno did a good job at Wolves. Mm. Last season there, not great, but I mean, still probably around about the Arsenal mark, mid-table. So that's uh, that was all right. Mm. Um, and the thing is, he's come in, probably not many Spurs fans really excited by his arrival. But then you get three results, albeit 1-0 wins, and some of them may be a bit lucky and we haven't been playing great. But you get the results like that, and that buys you time with the fans, and it kind of wins them over a little bit. Um, but I remember we had a similar sort of thing with Mourinho last season and December, beginning of December, end of November, we were sort of top of the league mm. um, and we weren't playing the best football. We were like, you know what, if it gets us results and we win something, we'll put up with that because it's been a while since we've won mm. anything, uh, 2008. Um, and then it, oh, the wheels came off then, didn't, didn't they? As, as is usually the case with Mourinho after a couple of years. So I think a bit like you're saying uh, mm. with Arteta, We've got to give Nuno a bit of time, but Arteta's been there well over a year. He won the FA Cup in the first. He won a trophy. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I mean, Spurs we'll, ta we'll take that. <laughs> we'll take the conference, Europa Conference okay. League or whatever the hell it's called. Not going too well in the Europa no. Conference League. I mean, <laughs> well, let's see if we can get through the group stage first. Yeah. But I mean, I think for Spurs, 
you know, top four we want because we actually had a bit of experience in the Champions League. Now we know how exciting a Tuesday and Wednesday European night is. Do you? Thursday night, not so much. Yeah, mm. we did make a final. Yeah, how many times were we in the Champions League? And how many times? Uh, how, how long ago? Huh? Yeah. So <laughs> we've we both go. lost Champions League finals. So that's something yes. that brings us that's together. True, yeah. yeah, that's true. We're both both equal in failures. Yeah. <laughs> in the Champions League, so that's that's something. But you know, the the team at the moment, like you mentioned, bit of a transitional period. Harry Kane looks disinterested. Has lost that spark. He obviously wanted to move in the summer. It didn't happen. Mm. So, but at some point he will come good because if he wants to move in January or next summer, he's going to have to start putting the goals in. Otherwise, clubs aren't going to necessarily come in. Uh, the same as they would. Um, and obviously, you spoke about Arsenal having injuries. Well, you know, we've got a fair few at Tottenham. Mm. Injuries and South American players that went to South America <laughs> and therefore can't come back. Yeah, they're isolated in Croatia or something. Well, can I, can I also just say, if people haven't seen this, by the way, do look up the Argentina-Brazil match that happened recently because... Um, Brazilian authority, it was in Brazil. Oh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen it. Well, so essentially what happened is Premier League players, including Giovanni Lo Celso and Christian Romero, lied on their application, said, no, we haven't been in England, despite the fact they play for a Premier League team. So, I mean, it's, it's not exactly crime of the century. Yeah. So the Brazilian authorities <laughs> cottoned on well, not in South America. <laughs> well, this, well, they usually lie about more stuff than that in the airports. Right? Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, I was going to say, the authorities are quite busy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But essentially, the Brazilian authorities, and bear in mind that Argentina obviously won the Copa America and beat Brazil, waited till the game was underway before storming onto the pitch and attempting to detain Crazy. said players. Yeah. Now, I mean, unbelievable YouTube yeah. fodder. Yeah. But also just so stupid. And now these players are unavailable to us. Davis and Sanchez as well. Yeah. I mean, one thing I would say, and I think this goes for both clubs, Matt, is that is there an element of, look, we don't have the money that City had. Okay, Spurs and Arsenal just do not have that money and equally don't have the money to pay Cristiano Ronaldo £50 million a year. We don't have that kind of cash. So having now lived through 18 months of Mourinho, and I also survived George Graham, David Pleat, Christian Gross, and I would say Mourinho is the worst football I've seen at Tottenham. Yeah. And that's, I mean, that is really saying say something. something isn't it? Yeah. Do you just, there's a part of me now thinking, Spurs aren't going to win the league, probably not even going to finish in the top four. I just want to be entertained. Yeah, is there yeah. an element of that Arsenal? You just want to have a bit of fun when you watch your team. Yeah, but the performances don't show that. At yeah, the that's the thing. <laughs> yeah, you know. So you're not getting the probably, results. All the. All, I'm, gonna, all I'm the gonna be honest. This is probably the worst man. Arsenal team I've witnessed. Really. Um, for some time, performance-wise and just the players. Um, you know, you've got people like Granit Xhaka there. Who um, I'm sorry, but I've just lost. Didn't you try and get rid of him? Try to get rid of him to Roma, but then the they, nobody wanted him, so you've kept him as club captain as well. Well, no, no, no. He wanted he wanted to go as well. Yeah, and um, yeah, brilliant. <laughs> I mean, we weren't going to accept the. Well, he wanted to go so much, he got himself sent off, didn't he? I'm going to say. <sighs> well, don't get me started. That's just, that's just him, <laughs> but it, also, Matt, pre peroxide hair dye, you don't look dissimilar to Granite Xhaka. <laughs> I oh yeah, I've ever watched what I say. Oh, it is him. This is the setup. Gra Granite? <laughs> <laughs> no comment to that. Well, no, that's a compliment. Yeah, he's a, he's a smashing looking chap. But yeah, like, has some issues on the football field. <laughs> yeah, it's just discipline, isn't it? Yeah. It's discipline. And he's not the only player, but uh, he's meant to be a leader. He's meant to be a captain. And for what he did, um, I think it was a couple of seasons ago, to swear at the fans and just disrespect uh, from that moment on, I was done with him. You know? Yeah. He should have left. He should have never played for Arsenal or put the shirt back on. So, yeah, to actually offer him a new contract and increase his salary is just yeah. a joke, really. Yeah, I mean, um, swear at the chairman. That'll get the fans on side, but do not swear at the fans. Yeah, I mean, the chairman's another thing, isn't it? And the owners, I mean, they don't really care about the club. You know, I've seen so many Arsenal fans just irate about, like, they don't turn up to games, they don't care, they don't put any money in. But you see this season, you know, they, they have put the money in. But I feel like maybe that's something to do with the Super League that they were mm. meant to, you know, go to and they're just trying to own up to the fans. And so, so we'll see. Do, are you impressed with the signings you made for all that money? Because a lot of them haven't <laughs> even played yet, have they, for Arsenal this season? They've been on the bench. In the last game they played where we won. Um, <laughs> against, against, sorry? Big win against Norwich. Mm. Right, so Convincing game, win? Huh? Convincing win against no, the League Norwich. Did you see the game? Well, no, 30, no, 30 shots, it. wasn't it? 30 six, shots. Six on target, six one on goal. Target. Yeah, well, it's, you know. So you can look at it two ways. A win, or why aren't you converting I think we 30 just, chances we against We just needed to get the win. It didn't yeah, matter. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. But um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how it goes from there. 
Um, but yeah, I think going back to what you said about the transfers, I think it's great that we've got this kind of route of young players, hungry players, but um, yeah, there's a lot of pressure now. And we, you know, we can easily spend 50, 60 million on a top player, but uh, we need so many positions mm. that it's going to be hard to afford, you know, all those players. So yeah, it's just, we'll see how things go this season, as I said. There's an element of that at Spurs as well, isn't there? I think, Johnny, I think a lot of time the fans thought, sell Kane because we need a new right back. Okay, we've got one in, didn't cover himself in glory against Palace. Yeah. <laughs> but like, need a new right back, probably need another new centre half, probably need another new creative midfielder. And you think, there's a lot of holes to plug. There too. is, but we've, we've got, how many midfielders we got? We've got some creative ones. You know, you need to clear out before you get new ones. Otherwise, the you know, like you're saying, we can't afford all these wages, especially mm. built a new stadium probably at the worst possible time because, uh, because of the COVID uh, pandemic. Well, so also- we haven't been getting the fans through the gates. So it's like, we can't afford those wages. Yes, we could have sold Kane. He wanted to go, but we'd left it. What we should have done is gone in for someone like Lukaku, bought him, and then, <laughs> well, look, what did Chelsea buy him for? About 97 million. Yes. But I still have Kane there, but knowing that we were sell Kane for 160. And then, but you've got, you've probably got to buy ahead. <laughs> but you're not going to get, I just don't get those players. And also, gonna we don't have that money. Yeah. We but we would, we would be getting it in <clears> with Kane, you know, if we had a sold Kane, because now we're keeping older Kane, who doesn't really want to be there. But I'm saying mm. we, what we need to do before you got the 160 million in yeah. the bank, before clubs know you've got this money in the bank, so the prices go up. Okay, maybe we wouldn't have got the car deal. That's a I think exciting. I think that's how so, you and I would run it, like a used car dealership. Yes. But that's not how Daniel Team is But we'll go out and buy buy a replacement, buy a decent striker, yeah. and then sell our best asset and have that money in the bank anyway. Because you're only talking like three or four weeks before you got the money back in. But top um, players want Champions League, don't they? They don't want Europa. Yeah, well, that's why we're both well. struggling. <laughs> huh? That's why we're both struggling. That's why you can't sign. No, but them. Arsenal have history. We win trophies. And like, well, we, well, well, Tottenham haven't got history then. What have you got? 1961. Yeah. I mean, it's further back in history. But, you know. Yeah, but players aren't old enough novel. to remember that. They're old enough to remember the Invincibles and, you know, the. Um, the, yeah, you know, but the, like, like Joe said, you couldn't think of anything after that because then you're like, oh, <laughs> I'm, 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 if you think about it, from 2004, like that's it. From then, you could have signed any player you wanted because you were invincible. You've got top players there. You're playing in Champions League. You've got a chance. And it's gone from that to where you are now. Well, do you know what? That's quite a, <clears throat> quite a decline, isn't it? In 16, but 17 years. Every club goes through these transitional periods, don't they? Yeah, but the transition can last. 50 odd years. <laughs> uh, well, I think, I think as well, to be fair, I think Spurs are in that transitional period, new stadium, and then plunged all our money into that, their money, sorry, plunged all their money into yeah. that. And basically what Daniel Levy gambled on was that Mauricio Pochettino could keep doing it without refreshing the squad, selling players from under him, and he couldn't. And yeah. now we're stuffed because we're in the <laughs> Europe Conference yeah. League with no players. Right, I have put together a North London Derby 11. Now, what I've essentially gone for is a hybrid of both teams Players from kind of my era, so I'm talking like late 90s onwards. And it's not necessarily players who've shone in North London derbies. Right. But it's what I would consider to be the best of both teams over that pick. Matt, you're just so ready to just pounce on I'm, this. I, I just know what's coming, so I'm just ready. Yeah. I'm going to start with the goalkeeper. And I don't think yeah. there's any debate about this. Matt, I think you'll agree. Hugo Lloris. Yeah. <laughs> Big Hugo. I think we just have to stop there, don't we? <laughs> cut. I mean, you can't. You just cut there. <laughs> I think David Seaman, come on. The, well, now I now need to say this. Now, the only yeah. thing I'm thinking is Hugo Lloris has won a World Cup as the captain. Admittedly, he had a terrible final <laughs> and nearly lost them the game. Yeah, he let in a goal to me quite easily. But I think, yeah, he's won a World Cup, but what's he won for top? And that's the argument. The Audi Cup? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> The cup of all cups. And the fact it's that he actually one. celebrated that is the joke, isn't it? It's a big day that for us, wasn't yeah, it, John? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're still recovering. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a heavy trophy. Yeah. <laughs> so, Hugh, you're not... I'm not having that at all, no. I'm sorry. So you'd go Seaman. You'd say Seaman, that's your best I mean, keeper. come on. You'd be honest with me. Are we willing know. to compromise on that? David Seaman. I don't know. Well, I guess England, Seaman, number one. You know. Yeah, but I mean... He had a few moments in goal for England, didn't he? That, uh, was every goal Ronaldinho. Goal. Ronaldinho, yeah, Brazil. Yeah. Naeem from the halfway line as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That was in Europe. Did get lobbed a bit, didn't he? Keepers yeah. used to get lobbed yeah. a bit more in the old days, I think. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'd even argue Jens Lehmann. 
Yeah, so yeah, I'd probably was, go for him above Seaman. I do actually, I did like Jens and he was crazy, he which is always temper. good. Yeah, yeah, he had a bit of a temper and, you know. I'll, I'll be willing to compromise on Lehman, but, you know, Hugo's been a great servant to, to Spurs and he has won a bit, not with us. Mm. <laughs> You're going to be compromising a lot with this team. We're very proud oh, of his yeah. international career. Yeah. <laughs> Spurs fans are used to compromise, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're having Lehman. Okay, yeah. Right, oh, at right, right back that. though. Now, I did think Laurent, but... Carl yes. Walker. Oh, Ooh. have we got yeah. him? I mean, <laughs> this, it goes back to the whole thing of what was he like for Tottenham? I can't remember how good he was for Tottenham. He was good. He was very, very good for was Tottenham, it? yeah, yeah. He was, oh, we all said he was rubbish, rubbish and then he left <laughs> and we thought, oh, no. <laughs> no, no, he was actually good. Yeah. Some of the replacements we yeah. got for him were like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'd argue, yeah. I mean, you've got Lauren, you've got... Sanya? Yeah, I did think, I thought, I, I did really like Laron. Sanya was a good player. I think yeah. he was a good player in a team that was in decline. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll give you Walker. I'll give you Walker, because I'd admit, you know, okay. I'm not deluded. I know when I see a good player, I'm like, yeah. It yeah, doesn't matter okay. who he plays for. Left back, no debate. Ben Warasua, no, I'm joking. Right, it, it's, it's all, <laughs> no, young Pio Lee. <laughs> it's obviously Ashley Cole. Ashley Cole. There's, yeah. there's absolutely... Ashley. I mean, one of the least like right. footballers in history, but what <laughs> just people? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I think Ashley Cole, yeah. It's, it's got to be Ashley, isn't it? Yeah. I'd, I'll give you that. Yeah. yeah. Centre back, and there is one thing I will not compromise yeah, yeah. on. Ledley. <laughs> I have gone Ledley King. Yeah. Of course yeah. I've gone Ledley. <laughs> Terry Henry said Ledley King's the best defender he ever played against. Yeah, when he was playing. Yeah. Because he was injured a lot, let's yeah. face it. But that one knee, yeah. what a knee. Yeah. That's all he needed. Didn't need to train during the week, just turn up on match day. Apparently he just went swimming at the training yeah. complex. Oh, what a man. Yeah. He's still That's there the at Tottenham, well. isn't he? He's like a backroom star. Yeah, they've sort of get, I, I wonder yeah. if it is a bit of like, let's give Ledley a job. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's, he's, a, he's a club ambassador again now, isn't he? He was yeah. um, defence coach under Mourinho. Yeah, it didn't yeah. go so well. well. <laughs> defence wasn't that good, so... He's a better player. I mean, as is always, sometimes the best players aren't the best coaches, right? I love, like, I Ledley King is my probably my all He's not my favourite Spurs player, but in terms of, like, a, a hero at the club, yeah. he is probably the greatest of the last yeah. 30 I think because every time he played, he did put in a good performance, didn't yeah. he? He was when, a hell of a player. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's going to be a tough one because I'm thinking Tony Adams and Sol Campbell. No, there's... Right, OK, no, so no, don't no, say... No, no, no. I mean, we've got, to go, we've got to go there, I'm afraid, because Sol Campbell... Is a legend at Arsenal. He came to win trophies. And he I did. will not have Campbell in the team. He scored in the Champions oh, no. League final. He did everything. Yeah, he did, didn't he? Powerful header. God, and he Campbell was so just much. unstoppable. Yeah, he almost scored a couple of time for, times for England when he was a Spurs player, but they got ruled out wrongly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Mr. Invincible, wasn't it? And that was the start of kind of, well, not the start, Sheringham was probably the first player to, to break my heart. But then you kind of got, the Spurs have got a rich history of selling. Our best players, but the worst thing. So obviously Modric and Bale and yeah. Berbatov and Keane. The list goes yeah. on. Carrick, but a lot of them come back. <laughs> yeah, the tail between their legs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on, didn't Robbie. Oh, it didn't work out, did it? Yeah. yeah. We'll have you back. Yes, we will pay you less. So. <laughs> <laughs> what, what happened with Sol Campbell then? What, um, he left on a free. He left on. Oh, yeah, he what? saw out his contract. I think he was on a four-year deal, and then he just ran it down. This is like late nineties, wasn't it? Yeah. Right, right. Um, and that's what also hurt. He just went on a free, and then. Could have gone see. anywhere. I mean, other clubs were in for him, but he chose. That's the problem. You go to Arsenal, which is the worst thing you can do. And obviously, you were a much better team than I think Spurs we were the, well. one of the best in the league at that time. Yeah, what a fantastic yeah. team at the time. But also to leave on a free is a real slap in the face. Mm. It's not quite levels of Figo going to Madrid. And then when he came back to the new camp, they threw a severed pig's head on the pitch at him. Yeah. Wow. I mean, that's how you let someone know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we should have done it through the gates, couldn't we? That yeah, was, that was the thing. Tighter security at the line. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> at the new camp. And also, we don't have such easy access to wonderful Iberian ham. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I personally just I cannot have Campbell. I will. I'll let you have take because the other person I had was Kodo Torre, who Kodo actually Torre, was a very yeah, good player at the time. Yeah, he was time. in the invincible yeah. as well. But it was, yeah, I he think was for right me, Arsenal, he went down a bit. Was he went to City uh, after that? He went to yeah. Liverpool yeah. actually as well. Oh yeah, yeah, he went to Liverpool and then City, but. Tony Adams, I think you can't argue with that. So we're going to go Ledley King, Tony Adams. I quite like I think that. I, th mm. I quite like that as a centre back partnership. I have Sol Campbell in there though. But I think you have kind of got the mix of gentle, softly spoken, classy on the ball, and mm. animal. Although Adams could play. Yeah. But just I mean, very hard. Yeah. It'd be a good balance. I, I don't think you're going to get Campbell on the. On, You're not on going to have it. No. If, if, if compromise. This, if we own this club that we've created, 
like Tottenham yeah. or Arsenham or whatever it's called. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe Arsenham. Black. Arsenham. Arsenham. <laughs> <laughs> that's different. Now that's a club we're opening. Um, right. <laughs> but if we're owning this club and we've got two thirds vote, we will not let Sol Campbell in the stadium. Yeah. <laughs> He's banned. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Tony okay. Adams, Lenby King. Midfield, right? So I'm playing a midfield three if you guys are up for this. Yeah. So what were we going for? Four three three. Four three three. It's got to be okay. modern football, isn't it? Yeah. Four, three three. Yeah. I didn't want to go it's wing backs because that didn't really exist okay. until yeah, about five yeah, yeah, years yeah. ago. Patrick Vieira. Yeah, I think he's he doesn't say to, anything. It's a bit to hard to kind of. Yeah. Do you remember him? He was the man. I think he's the manager of Crystal Palace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Recently, yeah. Three 0 Yeah. Perfectly yeah. round head as well. Yeah. These days, has, I've really. noticed. Yeah. So yeah. like. <laughs> yeah. So for that reason alone. <laughs> yeah. This game in the team for his round head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> he's just a warrior, isn't he? Well, he's he a fantastic. Could play. I mean, leader. Could, could be an absolute beast when he wanted to be, but technically yeah. brilliant on the ball as well. Yeah, leader. Yeah. I mean, it's what you're lacking now. <laughs> now we've got um, Jackham. Oh, yeah, Jackham. sorry, yeah. From sorry, the stands. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sharp granite. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, hell of one of the greatest players to ever play in the Premier League, in my opinion. Yeah, hands down. Yeah. 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 And yeah. World so, Cup yeah, winner. Going, yeah, so he's in there. I did think, because he's this guy's a real legend with Spurs fans, Moussa Dembele. Oh, yeah, no, he's a great, <laughs> oh, come on, he was a great, great player. I don't, I don't know where this is going, really. Right. What's, what's, <laughs> like what's he won? We need to the judge hearts. your hearts. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest prize of them all. Yeah. The loyalty of <laughs> depressed, pathetic men like us. You're picking a bones and it's just not gonna happen, is it? Moussa Dembele, come on. So you know, I mean Moussa. he was he was a he was a great player for us. I was sad to see him go. Oh. But he went off to China, didn't he? He did go to China. He's the man who patented the win the ball with what's probably a yellow card. Yeah. And then turn and run. Oh, yeah. did, did he go on a free? Yeah, he did. Yeah. We let him go. Oh, yeah, but he didn't yeah. go to Arsenal. He couldn't have been that good then. Well, no, because what, what we did is, like all football clubs expressing loyalty, as soon as he lost a yard of pace, we just told him he wasn't <laughs> wanted and shipped him out yeah. somewhere. Yeah. But um, yeah, okay, so you're not having Dembele, I think that's probably fair. I'm thinking Petit. Oh, I forgot about Manuel oh, yeah. Petit. Um, Gilberto. Oh, no, I won't. No, you're not having that. No, I mean, obviously brilliant players, but I do have to get some Spurs players in. And if we're playing a midfield three, Luka Modric? No, that's a shot, yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's yeah. The only man to win the Ballon d'Or in the last 11 years who wasn't Ronaldo or Messi. Yeah. What would he play? Attacking mid? Wherever he likes. <laughs> but that's what he wants. That's yeah. It. I mean, yeah, he's we, we have player. had some players through the years. Like I said, we haven't necessarily They sort done of started at the top. We haven't <laughs> necessarily yeah. made the most of them. No. And not necessarily had them all there at the same time, <laughs> which would have been key. Yeah. I we've had individuals over the years that have gone on to great things. <laughs> well, do you know what? I watched the um, Madrid game the other night, and Modric is 36. And then having also watched Harry Winks in midfield against Crystal yeah. Palace, Harry Winks is, I can't believe Spurs asked Everton for 25 million quid for him. Give Everton 25 million quid yeah. to take him, please. He was meant to be the next Iniesta, wasn't he? No. Do you know what? This is Harry one of the Winks. things, and you, you, you must get this asked as well. When a player's homegrown, you get some sections of the fans who think that they are the next Adan or the next Modric yeah. or whatever, it's like, mate, he's useless. Yeah. Just because he can't And you've got those, when they come through the ranks, you've got those rose tinted glasses, you're, almost, you're willing them to do well and you look past some of their weaknesses, right? Yeah. Because you're like, mm. he's one of our own sort of thing. Well, you, you want them to do well. It's a bit like the Jack Wiltshire thing. I never really I was going to say, yeah. But it's like, he look, he's got a low centre of gravity and he likes to play. So it's like, oh, he's Andrew Iniesta. It's like, no, he's not. <laughs> he's just physically quite similar. Yeah. Well, it goes back to that Barcelona game. We yeah. outplayed them both, you know, um, Iniesta and Xavi. But it's just a shame what's happened, the injuries and stuff, that Jack Wilsh has sort of gone. I mean, now I think we're inviting him back just to train with the team. It's quite, you know, I just hope he does well and finds a team. So he's nowhere near our midfield three, I've got to yeah. say. Oh, really? I was just going to mention <laughs> You say Jack Wilsh, Granite Xhaka, <laughs> Mohamed El Neni done. Mohamed El so we've got Pat Vieira. We have him, Modric? Yeah, I we think have him, Modric. Modric. Yeah. So, because there's quite a lot of firepower up front, I was going to suggest moving someone who we might think of as a forward into the midfield three. But he's got competition for places. So I did think Dennis Burkamp In the midfield? So he's kind of floating yeah, and he's, doing... Yeah. But then, he's another player that can just do I know what you're trying to do, though. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but my all-time favourite Spurs player is Raphael van der Vaart. Yes, VDV. And he also scored a the couple of... from the back. <sighs> Just because he scored against Arsenal a few times. He scored a couple of goals in oh, North London derbies. Was, oh. And, and he was only with us for a couple of years, but it was all over. Might as well put uh, Bentley in there. 
Well, he scored a smashing <laughs> goal as well with Danny Rose. Well, yeah. well, he did score a cracker against Arsenal. He did. He, did, he scored yeah. a volley, yeah. yeah. But also Raphael van der Vaart is my favourite type of footballer. I like any footballer that is carrying a bit of timber. Yeah. But he's still... I like a fat... You can relate to him. Well, yeah. He's, he's overweight, but give him the ball, you think, oh, he can play. If he lost two stone, what yeah. a play. Yeah. But I loved... And also, it's the first time Spurs have signed someone. He came from Real Madrid. He was in his late 20s. It's like, hang on. Like, we're able to yeah. actually get good players instead of just mm. randoms you never heard of. And I, I loved Van der Vaart, but yeah. I will maybe let you have that camp over. Yeah, I think. I was thinking Perez. Oh, I keep forgetting how many good players you've had. Yeah. <laughs> you've, got, you've got Perez, you've got Lundberg. You know, um... I think Robert Perez got to be out just for that penalty with him and Thierry Henry, though. That <laughs> just shows confidence. Though, <laughs> that disqualifies him. Yeah. It shows yeah. real confidence. Yeah. Yeah. Too much, maybe. <laughs> Okay, so would you have Burkamp kind of playing in that kind of floating role between the... Oh, it depends on who's up front, though. Well, obviously, Harry Kane. Harry Kane. I'm not having it. <laughs> right, King right. of the North London Derbies. Thierry Henry, Thierry Henry Dennis Burkamp. I will let you have Thierry. Like, that's general. I mean, yeah, yeah, got, yeah, yeah. Best player in Premier League history. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We can probably, we can squeeze Henry in squeeze. somewhere. Henry can play, I, I was going to play Henry wide on the left. <laughs> he could play anywhere. And Kane through the middle. I mean, let's face it, we're going to have five or six players that can play wherever they want. That's the yeah. sort of management structure where, you know, this is the sort of advice and tactics we give the players. Just go out there, yeah. very much Harry Redmond, go out there and express yourself. That, is so, that, that would be my managerial <laughs> yeah, idol. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that you, just, you just switch, just do whatever. Yeah, do whatever you like, get the, Just get the ball in the middle. Yeah, let's have fun. But, okay, so we've got Kane and Omri. Well, on the left, actually, we're going back to midfield or we established. No, but Kane's on the left. Midfield. I think Burkamp's playing kind of in between, in the between midfield and attack. So basically, we've got no midfield. <laughs> this team will lose. It's the Aussie Ardealist yeah. uh, line yes. up here. Four <laughs> so defenders. Burkamp and, and the rest strikers. Henri and Kane. I yeah, I do, I do worry about us being a little bit leaky at <laughs> the yeah. back. But yeah. going forward, what a team. Yeah. Flair. <laughs> yeah. Vieira's got a lot of work to do in the middle. To win <laughs> the ball off three or four opposition players. Yeah. yeah. But, but he can do it, right? He can do it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So if we say, who's your final? Who's going to be your final? Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale. Or Gareth Bale. Son. Son. Yeah. See, I'd. What about Alexi Sanchez? <laughs> well, I mean, what about him? What about... <laughs> <laughs> Who? What about Özil? No. Oh, I don't be. think you can have. In his prime. I'd rather give you Santi Cazorla. Oh yeah. <laughs> Santi. Yeah. yeah, Santi. <laughs> uh, At least he's likable. <laughs> yeah, that is true. He play with both feet. Yeah, I mean, Gareth Bale. The thing is, Bale is the most. He's not my favourite Spurs player, but he's the most exciting. Like, that like when he scored. I mean, for example, oh. remember the late goal against West Ham? Yeah, ninety fourth yeah. minute. And there was a time when it was just like, and it was Harry Redknapp, and the instruction was give the ball to Gareth. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. And he would always score. I remember that game against Inter Milan, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that that was... we basically retired Mykon, who'd been the best yeah. right back in the world for about two, yeah. three years. Bale was just running ragged. Yeah. In that game. Yeah, I think, you know, Bale was one of our greatest players. Not so good when they come back. It's like going back to an ex. It never works out <laughs> quite as you'd imagine. Well, he still scored, didn't he? When he Marino did, he, you know, he did, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But he was, he was something else in his pomp. Yeah. Um, when, he had, when he had all of his pace and it was just like the ball was glued to him, he'd just knock it ahead and he just knew he was going to win in the race. Yeah. Yeah. And now back in those days, we read that we had Lennon on one wing oh. and Bale, Bale on the other, and that was all it was. Just they they were just pace. And at different wings, times, yeah. your options were Crouch, Defoe, Keane, and Berbatov. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. just so much going on. But that Harry Redknapp team is brilliant because you could not defend. Yeah. For their lives, but oh, it was so much fun. Yeah. You had a lot of good players, but you know, where did you finish that season? Under Redknapp, we actually got in Champions League, didn't we? Oh, did you? Eventually, oh, yeah, away at City. Because um, David Bentley poured a bucket of ice on Harry Redknapp's oh, test. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. I never played again. Um, yeah, but, great yeah, memories. That did not go down well with, uh, with Redknapp. I did bump into him in Marbella, though, David Bentley. All oh, right. And um, well, he doesn't. property out there, isn't he now? <laughs> yeah. yeah no. he, he wasn't as interested in talking about it as I was. That's brilliant, so, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah you're re recapping all of his mistakes. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then he get a job from the England squad because him and. Um, oh, what's his name? Does Soccer AM now? Uh, used to play for Fulham. Anyway, they, oh Jimmy Bullard, that's it. Jimmy yeah, yeah. Bullard. They were taking uh, the mick out of Capello, saying he looked like Postman Pat. <laughs> he and does look like Postman Pat. He does, but then he caught wind of this, so then those two, yeah, that was their <laughs> England career done. So that was, that was good. <laughs> singing the singing the theme tune as he come down the coach. 
<laughs> Surely that's lost in translation if you're Italian. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Someone snitched on them, obviously. <laughs> must have been. So are we settling that front three? Kane. I actually might go Son to be. I think Son's I was thinking the best Son, player. Yeah. yeah then Bell. Kane, Kane, Son, and Henri. Kane, Son, and Henri. That's a pretty potent attacking mm. lineup. You've got to get in the ball. Because yeah, you know, don't forget we've got the bench as well. So you know, Bale. Gareth's on the bench. Up. Sol Campbell's not. Yeah, Sol he's still Campbell's not in the stadium. The bench, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Security have uh, removed him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what about manager? You're going to go with managers? Oh, uh, <laughs> see, I. That's going to. I want to go, right, so my instinct is, is I want to go Martin Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Martin Yo, big Martin. But I mean, I see it's, it's a toss up against Wenger and Pochettino, Pochettino isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But I think, <sighs> I mean, it's going to be hard to argue again. I mean, Arsene Wenger. I don't mind Arsene, Arsene, to be fair. I think, yeah, we'll let, but Poch is his first number 10 two. years into the job, I think. Yeah. yeah. And he's quite amusing as well in press conferences yeah. and stuff he like is that. A funny character, yeah. And we haven't even, we haven't even, well, we have mentioned Ginola earlier about your mum, but not about <laughs> being in the if team. If someone's just joined us, they're like, what? Yeah. Rewind <laughs> for something completely Should different. Should Gascoigne in there? Gary Gaza? Lineker? Yeah, yeah. So you know more Spurs players than we do. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's team. like, you know, and if you're going back further, ideal is... Yeah, but how far are we going back? We're putting Jimmy I mean, Greaves yeah, in the Jenny, team. Yeah, Jimmy, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Why not? <laughs> but yeah, but no. like, we've had loads of flair players. Yeah, but Ginola was one where again, get the ball to him. I remember late nineties, he was the only one in the Spurs team that looked like he could do anything with the ball. Like the ball got to him, you you in the stadium, you'd be excited. Like, yeah. what's he yeah. going to do? Um, so he was a, he was a great. But player. this is a team that at times started Anthony Gardner and Gary Doherty at centre back. I mean, utility was... man Doherty, he could play up front, <laughs> centre forward, centre back, defence equally as bad. If you had him on Football Manager, he's listed he's listed as. CB slash ST. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what you want. Yeah, very yeah. versatile. It's like Maiden Niles, isn't it? You can play anywhere. Yeah. In the Arsenal team. Ainsley Maiden Niles would, if he knew who Gary Dotty was, which he doesn't, <laughs> he would be fuming. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so can we settle on that team? Okay, so yeah. Yeah. Layman, then right back Carl Walker, left back Ashley Cole, centre back Tony Adams and Ledley King. Yeah. A midfield three of Patrick Vieira, Luka Modric, and Dennis Bergkamp. Wow, yeah. Up front, Harry Kane, Hillman's son, and Terry Henry. I think that yeah, sounds I'm, I'm balanced. I'm content with that. That's a title winning side. As long as we don't hit on the counter. Team, <laughs> it's one that's, you know, neither team would be um, upset about fielding. It'd be entertaining. In the North London like, There we go. Great, great performances, but. Yeah. I can't wait to see Arsenham win the title. Oh, <laughs> I love you for Arsenham. <laughs> um, Listen, lads, it's been a lot of fun. Matt, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Jono, thank you very much. You're welcome. Good to see you again. And let's do it again next year when we can moan about our club some more. Yeah, yeah nice one. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, chaps. Cheers. 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 <laughs> thank you for listening to the first Derby Days podcast. Make sure you download the We Love Sport app to book your place to catch all the best sporting action.